All right. How's it going? Welcome to the Aimless News, and here's today's first story. Jewel, vomit, and utter chaos. Family has the worst drive through zoo experience you could ever imagine. Um, yeah, that don't look good. <laughs> when Chastity Soul went with her mother and nephews to the Zootastic Park in Iredell County, North Carolina, I'm sure she wasn't expecting a herd of cattle which send the family into a total meltdown. But that's exactly what happened. Utter and complete chaos. Thankfully, she had the drooling wherewithal to capture the whole thing on video. Son, be advised, despite the best efforts of whoever edited this video, at least one expletive got through. Also, there's puke. I, normally, I just put the links in the, in, the, in the... Well, I will put the link in the description, but you know what? Let's watch this. Are you quiet? Shake your cup. Go, animal. Go, go, go. Oh, 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 go, go. Go, go. Go, move. I'm trying to go. Oh, wait a minute. Who finna throw up? Go, 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 go. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, whoa. Whoa, get off of me, Nausea. Hey, come here. Y'all ain't me. Hey, hey, shoot, 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 shoo, go, go, move, oh shit, move, Dad, Dad, hey baby, do no, go, 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 move, move, I knew you don't put me in no trouble, go, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, What is happening? Oh my god. 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 <laughs> that big animal right there made me throw up. It's nasty. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, can I go? Move. Move, animal. Oh. Move. Move. Lord have mercy. Okay, I'm never going with this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. You know, that, that was worth a watch right there. I don't know what's funnier. The kid throwing up in his mouth from the smell. The grandma <laughs> repeatedly showing shoe or Mrs. Sowell crying so hard that she starts to drool all over herself. <laughs> Take your family to the zoo, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Oh, and when Granny leans into the mouth vomit kid to avoid certain bovine death, knocking the whole mess into Sowell's lap, comedy gold. And can someone please explain to me how this family's reaction to a herd of cows is somehow more dramatic than this scene from Jurassic Park? <laughs> Son, very similar. This was a special, special moment, and we're blessed to be able to witness it. I agree. That was awesome. All right, here we go. On to our next story. Yeah, kind of a, all right, you know, a few good story. Stranded mariners get rescued from an island thanks to SOS etched in the sand. Check it out. Right, right there it is. S-O-S. There's the helicopter flying in. 
three stranded mariners were rescued from a remote island in Micronesia on Monday after search crews spotted their SOS message written in sand. The three-person crew of a skiff had not been heard from since July 29th and were reported missing on July 31st. The mariners were reportedly sailing a 23 nautical mile journey from Pulawat to Pulap, the tolls in the Federated States of Micronesia in the Western Pacific when they sailed off course and ran out of fuel. Ooh. Australian and U.S. military aircraft located the castaways on the beach of Pikilat Island on August 1st, according to the U.S. Coast Guard. We were toward the end of our search pattern. We turned to avoid some rain showers, and that's when we looked down. And so on. So they were here. It was completely by accident. So we decided to check it out, and that's when we saw the SOS on a boat right next to it on the beach. Awesome. You know, SOS is recognized as a call for help. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, sun. That's awesome. The helicopter crew located the mariners, checked for major injuries, and delivered them food and water. The Australian Department of Defense said authorities said the men were in good condition. They dropped them a radio and told them the independence was on its way. So they didn't actually pick them up in the helicopter. They just dropped them on a radio <laughs> and told them, hang on, we'll be back. I bet you that was... That was, you know, real encouraging. <laughs> Through the coordination with multiple response organizations, we were able to save three members. Sometimes I talk through way faster than I can read. We were able to save three members of our community and bring them back home to their families. Ah, told you it was a feel-good story. All right. Moving on. Here are 10 facts about duct tape. Because everyone wants to know about duct tape. Here, let me, let me blow this up so you guys can see this. There we go. 10 facts about duct tape. <clears throat> Fact number one, the black gaffer tape. If you want duct tape, which can be removed easily, choose the black gaffer tape. Ooh. It has a non-reflective design, you know, because which can be removed easily. That, that, that is a good thing. The standard duct tape, the silvery gray tone, is found in most standard. If you look beyond the common color, the duct tapes with prints and color for hues are available. The development of an adhesive tape. The adhesive tape was developed, developed by Revolite during the Second World War. The rubbery was used as the base for this adhesive tape. The function of early adhesive tape. The early adhesive tape was used to for sealing, was used to for sealing. I, I didn't write that. Well, the ammunition case, cases for this tape was water resistance during war. Okay, none of that sentence makes sense, but I think they taped their uh, ammo thing shut. Modern duct tape. All right. Huh, that's it. Okay. All right. All right, it, it's modern. The gray color. Most duct tapes produced in the market have the gray tone. This color is achieved through the mixture of LDP with powdered aluminum. You would think they'd explain what the hell that means, but okay, whatever. Now you know. The common width of duct tape. Two options. 1.9 inches or 2 inches. Sounds pretty close to me. The largest rolls of duct tape. In 2005, Henkel got the largest rolls of duct tape. It had the weight of yeah, I don't even know what a kilogram is. Okay, 650 pounds. Uh, you know, I'm American. I know pounds. 650 pounds. Whoa. That's a roll of tape? Who the hell can use that? Uh, I mean, come on. When, fact number nine. When do you use duct tape? 
sign. When do you not use duct tape? I mean, that, that should be the question, right? You, you use it whenever everything else fails. That's obvious. That, that's when you use duct tape. When you have no other choice, when you have no other options, you get to duct tape and wire, you know, bailing wire. Duct tape, bailing wire, you do anything. All right. Facts about duct tape number 10, the special duct tape. Some duct tapes are produced exclusively. You can get the ones with weathering resistance. Huh. Okay. Apparently this genius made a wallet out of duct tape. All right. That, that's it. I mean, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you know, you, you make a wall without a duct tape? Yes, sir. I'm all for it. Okay, that's going to do it for today's episode. I don't know, what is this? Episode? Um, adventure? <laughs> today's episode of the Aimless News. Be sure if you want to to like this video and subscribe to our channel and the most important thing is to share this video far and wide because remember the aimless news must be told <laughs>